Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I have my um, layout for December for Layout a Week blog here for you. And um, in this one, I'm going to actually be using a cutout from a t-shirt that my husband had. And he, um, it was just too big for him. He got it from his squadron. So he looked at me and said, do you need this? And I was like, um, I will take it. Yes. <laughs> so um, I'm going to use a piece of a t-shirt on this page and I will show you how I do that. So this page is about uh, my husband's final flight on the EC-130 that he used to fly on. Um, and um, so I just took some of our favorite pictures from that and uh, I'm going to document it. So here's how I'm using the t-shirt. Um, that was just on the chest right below the collar of the t-shirt and it's just an embroidered image of the plane. And so I'm taking it and I'm literally just cutting it into a little strip. And I'm checking the back to make sure that I don't cut um, where the protective backing is that is keeping the embroidery intact so that none of it starts coming off. So it's just going to look just like that. And it's not completely straight, but I don't really care. <laughs> it adds character, right? So I'm going to use these three photos and they are three, um, I think they're they're not four by six. Um, oh, actually, I think they are four by six, actually. Um, and I'm just going to line them up all along the um, the left-hand side of the page here. And that pattern paper is a paper from Webster's Pagers. I'm sorry, Webster's Pages, and uh, designed by Adrian Lumen. And so I'm just going to line the pictures up here, and then I am going to use two strips of ribbon, this black here, and um, I tried to use my ATG gun to put the ribbon down, but that wasn't, it wasn't sticking very well, and then I tried this, and I was like, eh, I don't know if that's going to stick very well, so uh, I took that off, and I'm going to use um, some Scotch quick dry adhesive that I just recently purchased at Michael's. I hadn't tried any of that before, and I see so many other people using it, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this a try, and I do like it. Um, I'm still trying to get used to actually, like, using it, so. Used to the flow and all that, but it held on the ribbon really well, so I was happy. So I'm going to put the black on the inside, and it kind of just helps create a little bit of a barrier between um, the, the polka dot ribbon that I'm going to use as well, and the busy pictures in the busy background. Just helps add a little bit of a border. And that's the back side of that paper, which is also gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I'm loving the papers. And so I'm going to put this polka dot ribbon right here on the outside of it. And get glue all over my desk <laughs> and all over my fingers. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out how to use that stuff. <laughs> I do like it, though. And I got it on my scissors. Oh Lord, Sarah. <laughs> but it holds down my ribbon really well, so I'm happy with it. And um, I'm going to use this little journal spot. And this is just a little uh, card that I had gotten from Jennifer in my, um, when she sent us a box of stuff to work with. And it's really cute. It says from the desk of blank and then a bunch of journal lines. And then the bottom says, uh, metaphorically speaking or actual desk and I checked metaphorically speaking I just thought it was the cutest thing and um, I inked the outsides the edges of it with some color box ink in surf and that's just to kind of help um, you know I'm putting blue on blue so I wanted to really make sure I created a good contrast there and I'm journaling about um, when in the Air Force there's a tradition when a flyer has his last flight on the airplane um, a whole bunch of people from the squadron and friends and family will go out to the flight line and meet the plane when they land. And as they get off the plane, you spray them with water, like a big hose of water. You, you spray them down and their champagne and stuff. And so we did that when Josh had his last flight. And it was fun because Kalem was the one who was holding the um, hose to spray him. And she loved that. She was like, I get to spray daddy with water and it's okay. <laughs> you know? So it was a lot of fun. And then the middle picture I think is my favorite. It's um, him seeing her, you know, seeing that she had the hose and he was like, oh my gosh. 
And, um, and then the bottom picture is um, us, our family, right in front of the plane. So I wrote all that on there, and then I'm going to actually put my title on this journal spot as well. I'm going to call it Finny Flight, which is what it's called, you know, their final flight. They call it a Finny Flight. And uh, those are basic gray alphabet um, letter stickers. And I love those. They fit perfectly right there. And I'm going to use one of these little tab stickers and I'm just writing EC130 on it since that was the plane that uh, he was on at the time. And uh, I'm going to stick that on top of the journaling spot as well. And these little, this little bingo card um, papers, that's a really thin paper, like a, I don't know what to call it. It's not transparent at all or anything. Um, just very thin piece of paper. So um, I just ripped one off and I'm going to use that. And it's mainly for the color. You know, it's not, obviously this is not about bingo. But it just helps to add a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and get my title stuck down here. That was fun uh, meeting him, you know, on the flight line. We actually got to stand on the flight line as they came in. And, um, you know, Kaylin got a spray him when he got off and, you know, champagne and congratulations and all that stuff. And then we got to go into the plane afterwards, which was cool. Layla loved it. She loves airplanes. So seeing the inside was really cool for the girls. That was a lot of fun. And I'm going to stick another little uh, bingo, top of the bingo cards on the bottom here as well just to kind of extend it and I'm inking those uh, with the same um, surf ink as well. I'm just going to kind of extend it, kind of echo it on the bottom. It's hard to get it in there because <laughs> so I was trying to put it underneath what was already down. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this t-shirt spot down and I want to make sure it sticks. So I am using a ton of pop dots, just a ton of them. And I tested to make sure they were actually going to stick well, and they did. Um, you'd have to really pull it to be able to get it up. So I'm not worried about it coming off. I also needed to make sure that it um, was popped up because it does have an extra layer of the little black part that is holding the embroidery. So. Um, I don't think it would have laid flat very well anyway if I tried to glue it down or something. And with that, you know, with the um, t-shirt material, I, I was afraid that glue was going to start seeping through. So, pop dots worked. And what else am I going to put on here? I have a couple little enamel hearts from Freckled Fawn that I stuck on there. And this is also from Buckled Fawn. It's a wood veneer uh, banner. It says Epic on it. And I'm going to put that right underneath that t-shirt spot there. And I'm also going to add this red airplane paper clip that I got from Target a while ago. From the Target dollar spot. That helps echo the other two spots of red that are in the t-shirt and the tab. Taking one last look here. And that's gonna complete my page. I have some close-ups coming here for you and that is a way that you can use a piece of a t-shirt image on your layouts. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, make sure you check back for the rest of the month of December to see uh, some good layouts every week. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.